Hi guys, it's Chris here with the Chewy VI-10 Ultimate. So this is the new model that has the Atom X5Z8300. And I'm just checking out some League of Legends here, running on the native screen resolution you can see right here. And I'm going to run it at medium high. So visually it looks still quite nice. And because we're running the native screen resolution, it does look sharp. If you wanted to increase the frame rate, you could lower these settings down a little. But at the moment we're at 30 frames per second. I'm playing a game here against bots, so I have one bot on my side and two on the opposition. And we have to remember that the CPU has to calculate the AI for those bots. So that is going to take away probably a little bit of performance there. So it's looking like you could easily get maybe another 5 frames per second, I would estimate, with online games. So I can move around the map quite quickly. And it dips down there to 24 frames per second. Overall, I think the performance is good considering this is the lower end Cherry Trail X5 Atom. And I'm about to die. And I died. So I'm going to move on now and have a look at a couple of store games and see how those perform. So this next title is Dungeon Hunter 5 Windows Store Game. There's a few little pauses and stutters, but that actually tends to happen on really every tablet I try. I think it's the game just caching in or loading files. But this is very playable. So you can see that it runs this game just fine. You'll have no problems with the stuff of stored store the game. And this title here is GT Racing 2. Which tends to be quite a demanding game. So a little bit of slowdown there, but overall the frame rate is at least keeping up. And it hasn't turned into a, a slideshow. I'm having trouble clicking, tapping that camera button there actually. It's on the inside view. There we go.
A little bit of delay in that steering now. You see that when I'm touching the screen? Wasn't always reacting straight away, but overall, I'd have to say the game is it's definitely playable. So the last one I test out will be the most demanding game, and that is Modern Combat 5. Which tends to actually end up like a slideshow, so I'll just check that one out and see how that game runs on the VI-10 Ultimate here. So here we are running Modern Combat 5, and I'll just show you how much of a slideshow this is really. It's very, very slow, look at that. Frame rate, and even the touch screen isn't that responsive there. It's a lot of stutter. And to be honest, it's barely playable. But all of the Atom tablets, they do struggle with this title. It tends to run faster in Android. I think it's just poorly optimized in Windows too. Use the iron sights. Right, you've got to be careful of that too, that you don't touch the window button, the windows button there on the side. Yeah, that is just very frustrating to try and aim to move around. Really, this is too slow. So I've had enough of running this game. Have a look now at the temperatures. So what do we get up to? We can see thermal throttling, no, right there. That's always good to see. And scroll down on this if the touchscreen will allow me to do that. Uh, where are we? 80 degrees I'm seeing there. A bit of trouble scrolling there. 80 degrees, so temperatures a little warmer than what I actually saw before in earlier tests when I tested out Counter-Strike Global Offensive in another video that got up to I think it was 75 or 74 degrees maximum so now it's at 80 but it hasn't gone past that and it hasn't triggered any thermal throttling there but that is starting to get a little too high for my liking there it does feel quite warm just in this area right here particularly warm just there So there we go, there's a uh, bit of game there. You can see the League of Legends at least was playable, and it depends on what store game you're going to play out. Some will work well, like Dungeon Hunter 5, but Modern Warfare 5, clearly not playable. Thanks for watching the video, hopefully see you in the channel with more up-and-coming videos on tablets from China. Bye for now.